fully 75% of breast cancer and colon cancer deaths could be prevented if we had somewhere between 40 and 60 nanograms per milliliter of a vitamin D blood serum level in our bodies. I'm Carol Baggerly with Grassroots Health, and today we are interviewing Dr. Cedric Garland from the University of California San Diego School of Medicine about a phenomenal new paper that he has just published with that information in it. Dr. Garland, I am so glad to have you here. Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here, Carol. All right. I want to know, I can tell for myself why this is an exciting revelation, but please tell me from your standpoint as a scientist, why is this exciting news to you? There's a couple aspects of it. One is, is that this computer modeling that we did shows that we could eliminate about 50,000 cases a year of breast cancer in the United States and Canada, and the same for cancer of the colon. And we're pretty excited about that because these are hard diseases to uh, prevent. Uh, we estimate we could prevent 75% of deaths in cancer patients. We think we could reduce the mortality precipitously. And uh, also, this is the first time where we've been able to present a new model for the cause of cancer. It's called a dynamite model. It starts with a capital D, which refers to decoupling of cells. It could equally refer to vitamin D because vitamin D prevents this process. But it's the very first step in several steps that leads to cancer. And it's a far earlier step than the later ones where we normally try to screen early. If you think of the letter dynamite as being a D for decoupling, I for initiation, N for natural selection, O for overgrowth, that's the point where we normally begin screening. But now we have a method of screening beginning with a D, far before the cancer even has an opportunity to undergo any further growth. Uh, it's it's a, a more rational approach to screening. We'll detect cancers earlier, we'll head them off, and we won't be dealing with more or less untreatable cancers, which is what we must face now most of the time. And the implications for our current way of doing things? Well, it would uh, revolutionize screening because we no longer will have to wait until a tumor has formed in order to detect it, but we can intervene early with the vitamin D test that allows people to determine the level of vitamin D in their blood. It's a metabolite called 25 vitamin D. It needs to be in a particular range, 40 to 60 nanograms per ml. And if it's in that range, we will achieve the benefits uh, that I just mentioned, the reduction by 50,000 cases each in breast and colon cancer, 75% reduction overall in mortality from those diseases. I'm assuming that if one can prevent deaths, one could possibly prevent the occurrence to start with? Well, that's what the, the, the 50,000 <laughs> obese disease is. We're actually right, preventing the occurrence okay. in most people but in a few, the percentage that develops it, we have a means of keeping them from dying and keeping the cancer from coming back after the definitive treatment has been performed. That's fantastic. And where is this paper published? It's in Annals of Epidemiology. Mm -hmm. And the published date is? It's uh, April 14th. Fantastic. And what should individuals do? I mean, people that the have listened to this, what should to they do? Partner up with the doctor and order a test for vitamin D. Oh, if you're not able to partner up with your doctor on it, order the test anyway. The important thing is to get a test done to determine what the level of vitamin D is in the blood and seek counsel about what the appropriate level is. Uh, a, a consensus of experts in the field, scientists and physicians, uh, has recently released a call to action specifying 40 to 60 nanograms per ml of serum 25 hydroxyvitamin D. So that's a reasonable target until you have the program fully worked out. That should be then the basis for selecting a dose of vitamin D or getting out in the sun a moderate amount uh, to the extent that one gets into that effective range for the prevention of these cancers. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you all very much for tuning in to watch this and to hear about this phenomenal new find about being able to reduce the mortality of a breast and a colon cancer uh, by 75% in the incidence. This paper is published today, the 14th, and it will be available uh, and the information about it on UCSD's website. And we wish you all a very happy, D-healthy life.